This is a 10 station hydrostatic pressure tester for pipes. In the center you see the pressure control unit. To the right is the test tank and on the left is the pressure supply system. First we will look at the supply system. Before we start a test we need to set both maximum and minimum pressure settings. In this case the technician will adjust to a minimum of 8 megapascals and maximum of 12 megapascals. The unit is switched on. The light indicates there is insufficient water in the water bath of the supply unit. The water bath is located at the rear of the supply unit and ensures constant and consistent pressure of water to the pipes. The water inlet connection is seen to the left of the tank. This is the pressure control unit and this unit has 10 stations. However, it can be modified to handle more or less stations as required. The touch screen display is used to control the complete test procedure. Each icon represents a test station and the selected one appears blue. Different colors represent different conditions of the test station defined by the color code at the bottom. After we select which station we are going to test, we then set the temperature. There are three different curves. Short term is displayed in minutes. Long term is displayed in hours. The last one is the history curve, which displays the complete status of the test. Here we can select which method of testing needs to be conducted, namely hydrostatic testing and burst testing. After that, we need to select the specification of the sample. For example, diameter, length, etc. Based on this information, the unit will calculate the system pressure automatically. Once you click start, the test will proceed for the indicated time of approximately 100 hours. As you can see, the pressure has started building up within the pipe in station 1, and you can hear the supply unit in the background. Next, we will look at the test tank which houses the test samples. The pneumatically controlled lid is operated by a lever for your convenience and safety. In this setup, we have three stations with three samples being tested. There are three quick fitting couples which are used to connect the test tank to the end caps. There is a cross beam which is used to support the test samples during the test. Here we can see the sample connected with the two end caps. Before we test the samples, let us look at how the specimen is assembled and disassembled with the end caps. Using the tools provided, the screws are first removed and safety chain released. The end cap is removed by loosening with a wrench. We have specially designed wrenches for different sized end caps. The disassembled end cap can be seen. Now we will reassemble the end cap and attach it to the pipe. After tightening the end cap assembly, insert the pipe. Then the clamp is completely tightened. The cover is replaced and the safety chain is reconnected. Back to our test sample, we see at the other end there is another quick fitting couple attached to the end cap. The tank has a temperature control system which uses water as a medium and will maintain the desired temperature until the conclusion of the test, in this case 100 hours.